Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I am Shelly and if you've already been here as always, thank you so much for supporting my channel and welcome back. So in today's video, as you can tell from the title, we are going to be trying out the Fenty Beauty, let me pull them out because <laughs> I don't know the name. So it's the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Soft Matte Powder Foundation. And we're also gonna test out a couple other things. I picked up a few things from Sephora the other day, so I just wanted to give them all a shot. So I just figured, since I picked up a few other Fenty products, that I would try to keep this tutorial as Fenty as possible. So if you want to see the look that I come up with along with a little girl chat, just keep on watching. Okay, so first things first, disclaimer, my wig, I know, I know that it is sliding back like a car with no brakes. So I'm gonna go ahead and tell you ahead of time, the wig is slipping, okay? It's been on for a few days. I only use got to be glue. What do you want me to do about it? <laughs> my birthday's coming up. I'll get my hair done then. But until then, we with the slip back wig, okay? Now, let's go ahead and get into this tutorial for real. So the other day, if you watch my vlog, you know that I went to Sephora. Ooh. So if you watched my vlog the other day, then you know that I went to Sephora. I picked up quite a few Fenty products and I just wanted to give them a go. I feel like Rihanna, she just gives the girls what they want. But the powder foundation, I tried it out in store. Wasn't too much of a fan, but that could have just been because a lot of Sephora employees, they don't really know how to color match me. So I don't even know why I let them play with me like that. But it's okay, y'all know we can't really do too much right now, so that's why. But before we get started, y'all know I'm on this cleanse and um, I gotta drink plenty of water if I'm gonna take those pills later tonight. Okay, so first let's do concealer. I know I have a Fenty concealer somewhere. Okay, so we're gonna start using the Fenty Beauty concealer. I am using the shade 370 and this is the Instant Retouch Concealer. So I'm just gonna take and apply that underneath my eyes. And this one is super bright so I might have to use a little bit of NARS to help me out because I don't have any other Fenty concealers besides this one if i remember correctly this concealer dries fast so i'm gonna go ahead and blend it out oh that blended out really nicely okay not mad at it i am going to go ahead and like Hmm, should I contour? Yeah, let me contour. Okay, so for contour, I'm going to go into the Fenty Matchsticks. Um, this one is in the shade Espresso, and I'm just gonna do a little, like literally, a little bit of contour. And then blend that out. So I'm gonna go into the shade Amand and I'm going to spot treat or spot correct. Um, I'm just gonna go around my mouth area where I feel like I need the most coverage. So I'm going around here. Now I'm just doing like around this area where I feel like I'm a little bit dark so I need a little more coverage there and I'm just gonna take my sponge and blend it out all right so I'm gonna go back into that Fenty concealer and I'm just gonna highlight my forehead and my chin and blend love how that looks okay all right all right we're doing something here okay so now I'm gonna go ahead and set and I'm just gonna use the Fenty 
uh, Pro Filter Instant Retouch Powder in the shade Banana. I'm just gonna take my sponge and... Oh, that's way more than I wanted. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna have to blend that out. That's way more powder than I wanted. Okay y'all, so I just leaned in a little bit closer so that y'all can really get the full effect. So now for bronzer, I am going to use the Coco Naughty Bronzer by Fenty. And take that all around my face. It's definitely giving very much no makeup makeup. Like this look, we'll see what ends up happening once I put the foundation powder or the powder foundation over this but right now it's giving it's giving the girls no makeup makeup now it's time for foundation so let's go ahead and let's take this out of the pack i haven't even taken it out you guys like i legit was waiting was waiting for this video i didn't even take it off the pack and i'm sorry in advance if my lighting keeps switching i'm trying to figure it out i don't know i don't know what's going on also we're gonna get into the chat once i'm done with this like once i get started on my eyes Ooh, i like the packaging for sure it's like thicker it's like a compact but it still has that octagon shape i like it okay re what's up key What's up, Lisa? Um, I want all three colors. So here it is. This is what it looks like. It has a mirror in there. The shade that I got was 410. That is the shade that I'm in in the foundation. So that is the reason why I got it. Hopefully, it looks like it'll be a good match. I don't know. In the store, in the store was not giving me what I thought it was gonna give. I'm just gonna take and go in it. Y'all. <gasps> Wait. Wait, this is... Y'all. Okay, hold on. Y'all know I like to get ahead of myself. Hold on one second. Hold on. So I'm just going to take it around my forehead between the contour and the highlight. And do the same thing here. Just sort of blend everything together. I am what the girls would consider shook. Y'all, this... This looks so good! Hey, wait a minute. I'm not even saying that because it's Re. Okay? I'm looking at my mirror right here because I'm really trying to like make sure that the viewfinder isn't deceiving me y'all this looks real okay all right let me move on this looks good y'all see it for yourself first impressions right now right here i haven't tried it before now and um here for it so for those of you who really really loved my no makeup makeup look this y'all will love this it's not even like a no makeup look because the coverage is actually there it just still it still has like a skin like finish though. So maybe it is no makeup makeup. All right, let's move on. All right, so I'm gonna prime my lid with the Fenty concealer. I know you guys saw in the title, this is gonna be a little shit chat. So I just kind of wanted to chat with you guys because I just feel like I really, really do enjoy talking with you guys on here. And I love when you guys give me feedback in the comments so just feel free to give feedback or leave some encouraging words for someone in the comments down below but i just want to talk a little bit about 2020 and 2021 like what i have to look forward to in 2021 this is the pumpkin spice palette by Too faced so i'm going to use this palette they had it on sale at sephora it was like 25 dollars, i think and i love Too faced palettes so and I don't have a fancy palette, so that's why I'm not using one. So I'm just going to go into the shade Spice Spice Baby. It's actually like the same color as my shirt. And I'm just going to place that in my crease while Too Faced with the pigment. I just really wanted to discuss like 
2020 and 2021. Like not to even dwell in the past, but just to kind of reflect on my previous year. It's like a bittersweet thing. I think I kind of touched on it a little bit in my vlog, but it's like a bittersweet thing for me with 2020 because I feel like it was like a year of self-discovery. It was also just a year of, should I say turmoil? <laughs> Because that's pretty much it's like what I would the word that I would use to describe it. I mean, it was a very up and down roller coaster year. I was just really going through a lot and I didn't really know how to deal. I didn't really know how to handle what it was that I was going through. I would complain a lot about it, but it was kind of like I couldn't really complain out loud. So, so I kind of dealt with it behind closed doors, but I was really going through it it was a really tough time for me just so you know i'm gonna go into the shade pumpkin spice it's like more of an orangish yellow and i'm just gonna take that above that crease color that i used but yeah as i was saying i went through so much in the beginning of the year certain things that were going on in my personal life and i was trying to figure out like how i was going to move forward with everything that was going on that I couldn't really talk about. I couldn't really express myself. I'm not really one of those people that's super expressive when it comes to something that I'm going through. I kind of wait until I've gotten through it and then I talk about it after the fact. So that's what it was for me. Like I was going through it really, really bad and then I wouldn't talk about it. Like my feelings or anything, I wouldn't talk about it with anyone. So I was just sort of dealing and going through it and trying to get through it and really understand my feelings and what it was that I was feeling and just everything. It was just so much. It was really a, a hard time. It was a really, really hard time. I'm not even going to lie to you guys. I'm going to go into the shade Whipped Cream. I'm going to place that on the lid and kind of blend that into the crease or the other shade. Okay, so because I feel like that's a little too bright, I'm going to go into Pumpkin Spice, which is like more of a yellow. And I'm going to just place that on top. Just to sort of mute it out a little bit. I don't really want to take away from it, but it's too bright for my liking. So I'm going to go into the shade warm and cozy it's like a burgundy color and i'm just gonna place that on the bottom outer part of my eye smoke that out but as i was saying it was just a bittersweet situation it was very bittersweet because i feel like i was really going through it really bad but then good things were happening for me so my birthday is at the beginning of the year if you guys don't know my birthday is january the 10th mark your calendars no i'm just kidding but um my birthday came around so once my birthday came around i feel like i just wasn't in the best place like i wasn't really happy i feel like i started to really slip around the time of my birthday and then time kind of went on and you know you just kind of deal with it you kind of get used to it and then it's like i just was dealing with a lot and so I wasn't really happy when it was my birthday and you know that that's like a time when you're supposed to be like super happy and I just really 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 wasn't I just sort of dealt with it like that's just how I am as a person I just always sort of deal with what I'm dealing with and just let it be what it is so that's it like I just sort of dealt with it and I didn't really talk about it and then it was like, okay, you know, time went on and then I got COVID. <laughs> that was the turning point for me. COVID, getting COVID really was the turning point in my life. I feel like I just, I don't even know. Like life just became so different for me after that. I was just different all across the board. I just feel like once you go through something so life-changing, I feel like it, changes you as an individual and not everybody can come with you on your transition or your evolution or when you start to evolve like certain people cannot come not everybody is ready not everyone can accept or not everyone can deal with the new you people can't handle the new you they can only handle the old you so when you start to change and others aren't they're they're not elevating they're just 
stuck where they were, they're stagnant, they're content, they're complacent, and you're on, you're trying to become someone totally different. You're working on self betterment. Some people can only handle the down and out you. They can't handle this new individual that you are, this new person that you're becoming. They can't handle that. It's too much for them. So they start to become a burden. <laughs> and that's what it was for me. I just was becoming a different person. And because of it, it just, it wasn't working for the company that I was, that I had around me. So I had to get rid of it, basically. Okay, this is the Kilowatt. It's the Mimosa Sunrise and Sangria Sunset with the pink and the orange. So I'm gonna only use the orange side and I'm gonna use it kinda as like a highlight. I guess this is a highlight, right? Mmm. Oh, that's pretty. Okay, because clearly I'm overdoing it here. I'm going to use my Sephora blush. This one is the Hot Flush blush. And I'm going to just lightly and dust that like over. So I'm going to use this Sephora liner. This is the, it's a liquid liner um, by Sephora. <laughs> and just line my eyes. I'm gonna do it a slightly thin eye liner. So now I'm gonna work on my bottom lash line. I am going to go into the shade. All right, so I'm gonna go into the shade Cocoa Drizzle. It's just like a dark brown shade and I'm going to dust that along my bottom lash line. I can't take how this palette smells so good. <laughs> it smells so good, I wanna eat it. But you guys, as I was saying, when you're evolving, you can't bring the same people with you. If they're not evolving with you, you have to leave them behind because they will become your downfall. So that's pretty much what I did. And when I say this, is so important. If you, if your energy is off with someone, do not force that relationship. And I'm talking friends, family boyfriend, girlfriend, whoever, if the energy is off, if you just feel off when they're around, please get rid of them. I'm telling you guys, because I've been there, I've been through it and it's just, you don't even like, you don't need to take yourself through that. Get rid of them. Okay, I'm gonna go into my waterline with the cream gel liner by ColourPop. This one is in the shade Honey Dude. So I'm going to go back into the Pumpkin Spice palette and I'm going to go into that whipped cream shade and I'm going to place that in my inner corner. I don't really want a shimmery color there. I just kind of want something cute and subtle. And I love that. That is so pretty. For bottom mascara, I am going to use the Lancome Grandiose. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and fill in my brows and put on my lashes off camera and I'll be right back. Y'all, that's been my song. Like, I've been listening to that, like, over and 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 over again. And I don't know who needs to hear that, but um, you got it. Okay? You got it. Period. So, all right. I got my lashes and my brows on. And now I'm just going to set my face real quick because we don't want stuff to start moving around. So, hold up. So, I'm just using the Urban Decay All Nighter. 
Ultra Matte Setting Spray. So I'm gonna go ahead and do my lips and first I need to line them, but I don't have a Fenty liner. I don't even know if Fenty has liner. I don't know. So I'm gonna use the KKW Beauty Nude 3 lip liner. And then I'm gonna go on top of that with the Fenty Witties Dees. This is the Fenty Plush Matte Lipstick and it's in the shade Freckle Fiesta. And it like, it's like an orange shade so it kind of matches my shirt. I thought that was kind of cute. Oh, that's bright. <laughs> oh God, didn't mean to do that. Oh, that's super bright. But y'all, low-key, that's pretty. That's cute. Okay, so I kind of want to add like a little bit of a lighter color in the center. So I'm going to go into this Dose of Colors Liquid Matte Lipstick. It's in this shade, what is this, Supernatural. I'm going to put that like right in the center. So Fenty also released some more gloss bombs but she actually did the gloss bomb cream so i picked some of those up i got the shades which one is this this one is fenty glow and this one is honey waffles so honey waffles seems more like the shade that i should use with this look so i'm gonna go in i'm gonna use this oh it's so pretty okay let's see let's see what it does Oh, I really, really like how this looks. Okay, so I just turned the light down a little bit because I feel like you can get, or you can see how this looks with the light turned down a little bit. All right. So when your wig wants to lift, you just... Cut this shit off. <laughs> So this is the final look. I am in love. This powder foundation, listen, you don't even need to use a liquid first and then this on top. This is enough. It's giving my skin but better. This is exactly what this is. I'm so here for it. I don't know. I like it. It's so cute. I like it. I think it turned out bomb. As for the gloss, I can't really say too much um, my thoughts on it because I did not only use the gloss. I did use a lipstick. I used a liner, you know. So maybe in another video, what I'll do is I'll just use the gloss by itself. But I feel like this look turned out bomb. I don't feel like this foundation did anything less or more than what a liquid would have done. I don't know. Y'all saw me. I'm shook. <laughs> But anyway, um, so just to go back to what we, what I was talking about before, or what I was saying before, I feel like 2020 was a year of just craziness and chaos for everyone. It's just super important to know that just because you have a history with people or you are related to people or feel like you have these emotional ties with, with people, I just want you to know that that doesn't necessarily mean that you don't love them anymore, that you love them any less. It just means that you have to do what you have to do for you. And that's what I want everyone who is watching this to take from this video. I want you guys to just do whatever it is that you need to do for you to make you happy. That's all that matters here. So yeah, <laughs> I just wanted to get that off my chest. but. Um, Thank you guys so much for tuning in to today's video. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel, let me know in the comments down below what you guys think about this look. What do you think of the orange lip? And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!